This is the Sleeper's Coffee Table from Rail Yard Studios. We craft everything right here in our studios in Nashville, Tennessee. The Sleeper's is actually far easier to put together than you might be led to believe. It uh, begins with the feet. The feet have two faces on them. One of the faces is longer. Those are the face that you want to put out, facing away from the center of the table. And then you're going to want to put the feet so that they are 40 inches from outside to outside apart. They're lined up squarely with each other. And then you bring the timber in and the timber sits in the top of that. Some of the timbers are notched. And you can use those notches to help align the feet. Not all of the timbers are notched, however. The second set of feet lines up with the short faces to one another, directly behind. Uh, give it about eight inches between the two of them, but you're going to bring that together when you put the, uh, the tray in in a moment. The second tie goes in the same way as the first one. And we typically put the most attractive faces and the most interesting faces to the outside so that people can see those better. As the tray goes in, the tray will help to line up and distance the table appropriately. Uh, you slide the ties together and there are little lips on the back of the feet that hold the tray in place and hold it up. And then end to end it should be even all the way across each of the ties. The next step is to put the ballast in. The granite ballast just pours in. Use gloves to keep from rubbing your fingerprints off. And then the rail slides in just slipping underneath the uh, spikes on each of the plates. You want to hold it by the head so that you don't uh, hurt your fingers as you slide it in. And then you want to put the artifact in. We include a different one with each table. Some rubber feet go on to keep the steel and glass apart. And then the glass tabletop goes in. And there you have the Sleeper's Coffee Table from Railyard Studios.